Welcome to V Tech Talks, a video series of short practical tips and tricks to help you on your journey to the hybrid cloud. Hello, my name is George Kobar and I'm a senior technical marketing manager for VMware's vCloud Air. Today I will be talking about configuring your vCloud Air Edge Gateway with a syslog IP address. A key element of designing a secure hybrid cloud is getting visibility into the network traffic of your cloud-based applications. VMware vCloud Air supports the ability for customers to collect information about the traffic coming to and from the Edge Gateway through the use of a syslog server. The Edge Gateway provides advanced networking services like Stateful Firewall, NAT, Low Balancing, and VPN. By configuring your vCloud Air Edge Gateway to submit syslog data to your syslog server, you can then set up alerts or notifications and build reports with your preferred tools. The placement of the syslog server is entirely up to you. You can configure a syslog VM with vCloud Air or send your syslog messages over VPN to an existing syslog server. Both are shown in this example. Access to the Edge Gateway log data today is accomplished through the vCloud API. VMware is currently developing more elements. The vCloud API is a way to programmatically interact with a vCloud Air service. One of these new elements is in the gateway configuration type. Within this element, VMware is supporting a new action on the customer's Edge Gateway, slash configure syslog server settings. Here we can configure the IP address of the syslog server. Let us take a look at the requirements and at the high level steps that are needed to configure the Edge Gateway. To configure a syslog IP for a vCloud Air Edge Gateway, you will need a REST client to issue the API commands to vCloud Air. There are a few other clients that you can use, including curl and Google. I chose Firefox as I'm more familiar with this client. You will need vCloud Air credentials to log into the service. And finally, a configure syslog server. I use vRealize login site in this demonstration. We will first need to log into vCloud Air using REST client to obtain a token. Then we'll need to configure the headers in the REST client. Next, we'll have to query vCloud Air to uh, obtain the Edge Gateway ID, input the syslog server IP address, and configure vCloud Air log firewall rule messages to our syslog server. Within the Edge Gateway configuration in the vCloud Director interface, you can set your firewall rules to log the rules and default actions. After setting a firewall rule to log, we can now see messages on our syslog server. Here's a quick screen capture of vRealize login site. Here's also an example of ICMP allow, deny traffic for the default action, and deny RDP traffic. Would you like a step-by-step -step set of instructions or a Python script to help out? Scott Schaefer of the vCloud Air Architect team has written a Python script to assist if you're not familiar with the vCloud API. To download this Python script, you can visit the following blog for additional information. Thank you for watching. For more information on vCloud Air, please visit vcloud.vmware.com. Mm -hmm.